Hello, this is Lolly. I'm glad you're able to come back to join me. This was the last um, installation we did for our December daily. So if we flip this over, then I do realize it might be a little difficult because I have this up on foam. It might make it a little bulky and difficult to, and to glue on this side. So we are just going to put, yeah, we're gonna put 23 and 24 on here. Now I have taken this and pre-cut it to mat to fit the shape of this file folder. So I'm going to give you instructions, uh, a video link underneath this video, click to expand the information under this video, and you'll get the video uh, uh, tutorial I did on how to make a mat to fit the shape of your project. Now you can see that it's too short, so I cut this strip here to go over that and I thought that it would be a good to match that on the next page over so I have this one here and then we'll match that so we will get to that in a moment but let's work on this so the first thing I thought was we need to have enough for two days in here so I need I think I'm going to make this a pocket right here um, but let me glue this to this first I just got a new glue bottle. Now the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive has always been in this little bottle here, and it is two ounces. They have now come out with a four ounce bottle, and they've also just released a new fine tip applicator. More like a precision tip, I think they call it. As usual, this is eight inches, and then from here to here is four and three quarters. That does not include that right there. So if you put this here, I'm thinking of a side-loading pocket. Let's glue sides here. And it's okay for me if I do this as well. There we go. And of course, I am going to have to repunch my holes. So let me pull these out because I don't want them getting punched. So you can take a handheld punch and punch those back out. So I will punch these holes off camera. And there we go. So we have, this is a pocket, the full length right there. And I can go ahead and put these back in there. So the whole video series is listed underneath this video and all the downloads that I'm giving you for like journaling cards and numbers. So we need something else here. And it's beautiful either way. The right side is probably going to be a little busy, but yet I still am fascinated by these dark colors. So I'm thinking, I don't want it to go too far left, or that would go over the pocket opening, but I don't want it to be on the rings either. I need a little bit of color. I do see this, which is in the ephemera bits, but it's also black on black. So we might need another circle behind that. There's a one and a half. Let's see how that works. Barely, but it's just enough color. Let me try this with one of the scraps I have. This is a one and a half inch. You could uh, probably trace something like a medicine bottle. No, nope, it's all, it's just a hint of red. You could barely see it, but it's just enough to really perk that up a little bit. Barely. You could also off-center it like a shadow like that. Like it's purposefully off-centered. That gives it more clarity. And it says warm wishes here and it says warm wishes there. One thing I'm wondering about though, is to give it a little bit, a hint of this, like from the top and bottom. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's get the Fabri-Tac out and do this before we glue it down. I'm gonna turn this over to make sure that the, what I see sticking out there is the right amount and it's rather even there. Okay, that gives it just a little bit more interest. That's perfect. Now the lace is thick, so if we glue this down flat, we're going to find that um, it's going to be depressed in the middle and up on the edges because there's lace underneath there. So we could therefore use foam tape, which is not as thick as foam squares, just to give it a little lift in the middle. 
and then the numbers will be here for which days are in here. Notice I did not put the foam tape over the lace. The purpose of the foam is to lift up the paper off of that lace. So let's do this. That is perfect. Okay. Now we said this was 21, 22. We need 23 and 24. We've got these one inch punch. I might switch to use red for one of the numbers. I don't know. Maybe that might be a wise thing. Let's do that. Let's do one red. It also adds a little more color. And let's go ahead and get those distressed. Okay, so these would go on, I'm thinking, on the pocket or just right there. Now we're just going to tuck this under here, which we can do quite easily because the foam doesn't come all the way to the end there. Let's make sure there's no glue sticking out of the back. And then 24 can either come out of the pocket or right about here, I think, because I don't know that I want it sticking out that far. So I'm just gluing one side. There we go, 23, 24, like that. And so when we start the next page, we are starting it with this. So let's get that trimmed down. We want that to be the right width, which is four and three quarters. So that's our next page right there. I love that we've got the connection here between this strip and that. For some interest, we've got this page here, which I think what I'm going to do, first of all, I have to get this off of there. I'm gonna come straight down, even through that one border there at the bottom. We've got all this border strip. I'm just cutting right through it. In the beginning, I wasn't doing that, but now I am. And I think that's perfect. Now, what I was thinking, if I do this, the holes will be here. We could have a nice little pocket on this side. I could slide it over right in the middle. I think I'm going to do that this time. Let me get my holes punched. That will help me determine the layout here. So now that I see where my holes are, I'm thinking I can go right next to that because I do want that connection between these two papers right there. Make this into a pocket. And this adds a nice pop of color right there. Okay, now what I thought, I thought I could bring this in and actually cover that black right there. It brightens up the entire project and brings in, it coordinates with this right there. And I'm securing it just on that red border here, straight down. It just is going to touch my rings here. So you may have to position this carefully knowing that you've got binder rings or whatever ring system you have going on for your project. That is awesome. So this, of course, I chose this one because it says Merry Christmas. This is 25. And I think for that, I would really like to have the red circle right here. Now, many people said that they like to go all the way to the end of the month for for their uh, project instead of just going to um, the first 25 days. I'll put that right there. Make sure our pocket is not sealed shut. So I also want though to make sure we have plenty of room for Christmas. So this will be in addition to you know, our Christmas day, we can utilize this right here. And I think I will give that a little pocket here. I've got this warm wishes and I will just cut this into four and three quarters. Let's give us a little thumb notch on the top here. And we're gonna glue that down and punch our holes again. I don't really think that this is really showing up well enough, that border. I like a little more border than that. So I've decided, let me peel this up right here. And let me see if I could, yeah, I need to break that up. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's do this. Let's see. This is going to be a little weird because I'm doing it after the fact. 
Let's try this and see how that works. It looks like with that thumb notch, it looks like the pocket is here. Let's see how that works. So let's put this under here. There we go, we'll seal that shut. I'll just have to remember that the pocket is right there. I could have put a thumb notch on the green just before putting that on, but I like that that's breaking it up. That really helps me a lot. So I will punch these holes off camera as well. All right, so now we have those holes are punched. So we've got the 23, 24, Christmas Day, and this. Now, if you want more real estate for putting this together, you could just add another sheet, and it doesn't even really have to have decoration, but this would be like where you could put your photos. So let's do that. Let's do, cut this off. And again, four and three quarters. Make sure we've got our writing adjusted here. And just for a pinch of decoration, we have this in the ephemera pack, but it is really, it's very busy. And so I'm gonna trim this down and just trust my cutting ability here. I can even put it in here and get it straightened up to look all nice and pretty. Now we also have a little bit of notches right here and here. So what we could do is take like a hole punch, like on the corner there. And this can go right there. Let's see, the holes are gonna go here. Oh boy, that is really a tough decision. They're both so busy. I think this kind of tones down the busyness of that. Now the supply list is under this video for all of the supplies I'm using. So you won't have to try and figure out where I got everything. So, but it is blending in too much. So here's another option is to use this. Um, we've been using this throughout the project as well. And I like it a lot. And see how that really perks it up. Oh, I love that. I'm loving it. Okay, it looks like a belt, like kind of like Santa's belt across the project. And then we could put a photo on top, a photo on bottom. And I don't need to put any numbers on this one because this is still all part of Christmas or just whatever. That does look like a belt buckle. That is so cool. The other thing you could do before you glue yours on, if you want, glue this this ephemera piece to the ribbon, but on the ribbon, just glue the sides and then it becomes a tuck spot, you know, where you could tuck things under it. So I think that is just perfect. Although looking at hole reinforcers, I might want to get like a solid color here. Let's get this right here. We're gonna use this one. This is from Hole Reinforcement Set 2 and this is still in my shop. And I have mentioned that Hole Reinforcement Set 3 is going to be released very, very soon. So, uh, in about a week, I think. Okay, so let's get these done. Okay. Another thought is to do, I'm not going to do them all. I'm going to do the top and bottom of each set here. And then I'm going to come and do the same ones on the other side. Actually, what I'm going to do is just do all three on the bottom and none on the top. That will use exactly what I have cut. Ooh, does that brighten it up? Let's get these put into the book and then I'll tell you what is next for this series. So this is actually completing, sort of, <laughs> Our December daily for this year but I don't like to do a journal without making a paper clip or two so I think what I'll do is in a separate video I'm going to come back and do paper clip or paper clips for for this and I might put something on the cover we shall see and then after that will be a final flip through and there's our book right there. So again, here is the 23, 24, and 25. And this here, ready for lots of room there for your journal cards and your photos. So thank you for watching. All those links are down below. And I hope you have a wonderful season.